Hello, hello, and welcome to Our Little Path. My name is Amanda. If you're new here, thanks for joining. Today, we are going to be doing another look inside some new curriculum. This is Catholic Heritage Curricula's My First Treasure Trove of Literature. So this was actually just released this month here in July. Um, this is not sponsored. Just really excited because we've already used their um, fourth grade level and they just introduced their third grade level for their treasure trove of literature. So um, I knew we did this this past year with my daughter in her fourth grade year um, with the fourth grade level. Loved it when I saw they were releasing it for the third grade. I knew I had to grab it. So we'll be diving into that. Stick around. Thank you for joining. If you are new here, I would love for you to subscribe. Go ahead and hit the like button below. Um, I do a lot of curriculum reviews, look inside videos, homeschooling, motherhood content. If that's something that you'd like, I'd love for you to follow. This is Catholic Heritage Curricula's My First Treasure Trove of Literature. So this is their literature study for um, homeschooling, and we are big fans of Catholic Heritage Curricula. We kind of mishmash all of our stuff together, um, but we have definitely stuck with them for literature, grammar, um, and a couple other subjects as well. So when I saw they were releasing this in July, I knew I had to have it. We have really liked it for my daughter who's finishing up her fourth grade literature right now. Um, so much so that we bought the next one after that for fifth grade. So this uh, on Catholic Heritage, they have set for their third grade level. It, uh, your student will be reading Pinocchio, The Whipping Boy, and Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. So I actually have not read any of these books. So I'll be reading them along with him, uh, which I'm excited for. It should be interesting. Um, yeah, and the Treasure Trove of Literature, what I really like about it is that not only does it go uh, through different parts of writing or telling a story, setting, plot, um, talks about different ways to write. So things like alliteration or allegory or um, just highlighting those different types of writing is that it also has really good review questions, but they also bring in um, different like character quality and traits and things like that from the stories. So um, yeah, we've really enjoyed the first level. This is the introductory level that is new. Um, this is set up a little bit differently than the uh, uh, first level in that this is just one book. So um, I was kind of surprised to see that because I was expecting two, like a student guide and like kind of, not necessarily a parent guide, but they kind of put it all mishmash together, which is nice because then it's just one book for your kid to work on. Um, and what it does is it highlights vocabulary words in here. Also review questions. They will do a once a week like literary study. Here's my cat coming in, as always, to say hello. Better? Hmm? Okay, someone just needed to be around. <laughs> so like I said, it goes over literary studies. These are like once a week, they will review something that the author used to write the book. So it could be character, plot, <coughs> figures of speech, different things like that. Also does a weekly character study, studying, focusing on some of the virtues found in the different characters in the book. And then they have like a games project or activity day, which is really fun for the kids as well. And like a nice day to have kind of like a, they're not reading every single day, they get to do the games and stuff every few lessons. So that's nice. So um, it looks like they usually just have the kids read a couple pages a day. It's kind of hard to tell how they're splitting it up because like when I looked at Pinocchio, Pinocchio's chapters are very short. So it looks like with Pinocchio, they're reading possibly like two chapters. Yeah, it looks like two chapters a day. 
and then every third lesson is a discussion and activity. So it's a little bit different than the um, original level one. Level one, they do four lessons, and then the fifth lesson is like a discussion and activity. So they just split it up, and there's not as many review questions. Um, each lesson has about three to four review questions, it looks like. Um, and then there's like vocabulary words for each reading section that they're doing. So if there's gonna be possibly a word that the kids are not familiar with, it has the vocabulary in it. So yeah, we are gonna be diving into this for my son for his third grade year. I'm excited to see how it goes. I'm gonna do a look through because I think that's gonna give you guys the best way to see this. Um, but yeah, we have loved the literature studies. I highly recommend them. They're definitely challenging enough, but they um, aren't like overly stressful for the kids. Like I said, breaking it up with those games and activities on the fifth day or the third day in this case here. I have been really impressed with my daughter. She's been really picking up the literary devices while she's reading, being able to kind of point those out when we've been listening to podcasts and things like that. So I think that this is a great option for kind of like a reading literature program. Uh, I think what I'm going to do now is turn you guys around so you can really get a good look at the program itself and the book because I think it'll just explain itself. So let's go ahead and switch here. here. We have the book. It opens with a little bit of an introduction and it gives you all the different things that are discussed throughout each study. It also gives you doing that it also gives you the um isbn so you can get like the correct um the correct version that they use so your page numbers and things like that will align they give you a little bit of a suggested schedule here so two lessons of assigned reading per week the third lesson is devoted to discussion and enrichment project projects excuse me uh, they also recommend that the fourth day of a week they do their science. We don't actually use science from Catholic Heritage, so we will still be using the two lessons of reading and the discussion on the third day and just keeping it to three lessons a week. So the first book they will be reading is Pinocchio and it's going to be done in 30 lessons. So each lesson is pretty much set up the same way. It gives you a little bit on the first lesson about the book and the author and then any preparation in here, it shows that they're gonna be reading pages one through five. Here's the vocabulary words that they might need to know for those uh, set pages of reading. And then it goes into the review questions. So each lesson goes like that and then on the third lesson, you have your discussion questions, and these will go over the pages that they read in lesson one and two. And these are just verbal ones you can discuss with your child. And then they will have a literary study section, and then any games or projects. Um, and even here they have some videos on like marionette stuff to watch, which is pretty cool. And then let's see here. To end. This one kind of came funny. So once they finish reading the book, there's a final project that they will work on. So here they're going to be making a mobile. And it gives you an example. It talks about the different morals and why the things are on the mobile are added. And then it gives you the actual things to add and decorate. And then here you can talk about Pinocchio's bad actions and good actions. And then same goes for the Whipping Boy. Again, each a beginning starts with about the book and the author to learn a little bit about them. 
and it looks like it stays pretty much the same course. This one has a reading skills here. And then it looks like maybe their moral virtues is just at the end when they do a lesson project. So let's look and see. So the final project for this has a memory game for them of the different characters. And then I'm assuming it gives you a section to write a little bit about each character here. <coughs> yep, it gives you a description to write there. All right, and that is it. Pretty much each book goes the same way. They, at the end of the book, have all the answers. So if you aren't reading the book or have not read the book, you are able to look up the answers for each of the questions, whether it's the reading review questions or the discussion guide questions. Um, so that makes it a little bit easier on the parents. Since I haven't read these and I have kids coming down the line who will also be reading this once they get to third grade, I'll probably go ahead and read them. I've been reading Isabella's books with her and actually really enjoyed that. We watched, read The Winged Watchman in hers and that has been like one of my favorite books I've read in a while. So maybe you'll find a book that you've really enjoyed that you haven't picked up. <laughs> so that is my first treasure trove of literature. I hope that helps give you guys some uh, inspiration on a literature study. Again, this is for third grade, and it is brand new, just released in July of 2023. All right, have a great day.